hey guys welcome back to my channel so as I mentioned in my video with my husband earlier uh, the good news is that I'm good to go with my surgery next week Thursday um, so I'm one week still pre-op and um, I'm actually on my way right now to get a COVID test and luckily I will say this is my very first COVID test uh, I've been blessed that I've been very very healthy over the last year and I've never had to go for a COVID test before, but um, my doctor has suggested that I take an elective COVID test um, leading up to my procedure just to make sure that everything is in check, which I think is a fantastic idea. So I made an appointment at my local COVID screening center and I'm gonna go get that test done. And from the time that I take that test, I'm gonna continue to uh, self-isolate at home with my family. Um, we've been doing that anyhow, but I'm gonna continue to do that. I want to make sure that when I get to my surgery next week Thursday that I wouldn't have come into contact with anyone with COVID. So I'm going to go get that to uh, test now and I'm going to head back home. It's uh, kind of weird leaving the house every <laughs> now and again. Um, there's like hardly anyone on the road anymore um, which is kind of nice actually and it feels sort of weird even going anywhere in public so I'm not too fond about going to a COVID screening center because I'm just thinking about all the germs and potential actual COVID that could be there but I'm gonna go and I'm going to let you guys know how it is okay well that was awkward so I couldn't film while I was in there obviously they don't allow that but um First I got picked up by the security guard. That's fun. Probably because I'm wearing my Toronto Maple Leafs jersey and leggings today. So the minute a guy sees you in sports stuff, it's like your bait. And I took off my wedding band because I didn't want to forget it on for surgery and then swell up. So that's never good. Um, anyhow, ladies, at least I know I still got it even before having my mommy makeover so that's good news but then he was judging me about keto diet and I was just like okay I'll uh, talk to you later bud in any case though it went well it was a little awkward when I went in for my uh, COVID test they like very loudly in front of everyone are like why are you getting this test done and I was like um surgery and then he's like well what are you having done and then he could tell I was probably uncomfortable. <laughs> so he's like, come over here. <laughs> so I went up to him and I'm like, um, I'm having surgery. He's like, what kind of surgery are you having? I'm like, well, it's elective. <laughs> he's like, what are you having done? And I was like, okay, I'm getting my boobs done in my stomach. He goes, oh, okay, no problem. I'm like, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm like, don't judge me. Um, he goes, no, no. He goes, I'm not judging you. He's like, you're going to look great once they do that. He's like, who's your doctor? I wrote it down and he sent me into my room. But anyhow, needless to say, I was very frazzled and mortified between getting picked up by the security guard at the door and then being questioned in front of lots of people about what kind of surgery I was having done. So anyhow, guys, the COVID test is done. First time doing it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, it kind of left me like a burning sensation in the nose. I didn't have eye watering or anything. So overall, I actually think it was okay. Less the other forces and experiences around me, but uh, I got it done. So I will check online and see when I can get those results back. And uh, actually, they didn't even give me any information on like where to go to get my results. So I'm going to have to look that up somehow. Um, but that's done and I will figure out where to find my results. I'm assuming that they'll be on some kind of website. And I would imagine I don't have COVID. I mean, I haven't had any symptoms, I haven't been anywhere, I haven't done anything. So I'll uh, check online in a few days and forward those results over to Dr. Kara's house. Just wanted to give you guys the update about that. Hey guys, so I didn't get to actually film anything in live time when it came to my pre-op blood work and EEG that I had to have done. They wouldn't allow any filming there and I completely actually forgot to do it while I was on route. So I thought I would just do a quick check-in on how that whole thing works. So. Your doctor is going to give you a requisition to do some blood work um, and probably an EEG, I think it's called. Um, 
before your operation. They want you to do it usually about a week um, before your operation, and it's just to make sure that you're healthy going into your surgery. Um, so I did get my requisition form, and I was supposed to do it a while back actually, but um, my doctor's office canceled last minute doing my blood work and my EEG because of this whole lockdown thing. So I, in a scramble last minute, had to find another place to go do it. So my suggestion to you is just book an appointment with Life Labs. Life Labs is um, reliable. You can find your local locations online. Just make sure that when you look for the locations that they also do the EEGs because some Life Labs only do the blood. Others will also do um, the cardiogram. So. Um, I ended up getting a last minute appointment um, to one in a, a couple towns over from me to do it all. Um, give yourself at least an hour because it does take time to get through everything, especially because they're very busy right now. Um, and uh, the good thing about Life Labs, at least what my plastic surgeon told me, is that they have the ability to get your results um, from Life Labs versus if you go to a different place. So. Um, and you can also yourself log into Life Labs to get your own results. So worst case scenario, if your doctor's office doesn't get it, you can download it yourself and send it to your surgeon's office. So um, the blood work is pretty straightforward. Just make sure that you get an appointment and that you do it with enough time. Um, I didn't have to fast or anything for it. So it was just like a normal day. I went for blood work. Um, I'm still waiting for my results to come back, but I would imagine by Monday they'll be posted and my surgeon will get them. If not, I will get them and send them over. Um, so yeah, just be prepared to take standard blood work. And then um, the EEG is basically, I guess, monitoring your heart to make sure everything's okay. So that's a little awkward because you have to like take off your bra, take off your shirt, you're lying on a table and they put like stickies all over you and cables and I guess for a while there they tell you to relax and they're just kind of doing their tests. So um, just be prepared for that one. You're going to have to get a little bit naked for um, just the upper half, which if you're going for plastic surgery, you might as well put your modesty out the door anyhow because uh, um, you're going to be naked in front of a lot of people over the next little while. So um, yeah, that's really all you need to know about your pre-op um, blood work and EEG. Just make sure you leave time for it. Make sure you go to a good place. I'm suggesting Life Labs and make sure you get the results of that to your doctor or wherever you went for the test that they get the results to your doctor. So that'll end this segment on the whole pre-op COVID test testing as well as the blood work that I had to do in the EEG. Um, that's everything else that my doctor required leading up to the week of surgery.